Hello, community. So great that you are back. Yes, finally, we have an open model by OpenAI. You are not going to believe it, and we are going to test it here. Now, here we have here short uh, tweet here by Sam tells us, hey, GPT OSS is a big deal. It is the state of the art open weight reasoning model with a strong real world performance comparable to O4 Mini that you can run locally on your own computer or phone with a smaller size. So let's have a look. It tells us this is the result of billions of US dollars of research. And he wants to get AI into the hands of the most people possible. Beautiful marketing. Can they do this? Yes, they can do it. Just look here at the benchmark LM Marina. UC03 is here, sharing here first place with Gemini 2.5 Pro. Then we have ChatGPT4, Omni, GPT4 4.5. So they can build excellent models, reasoning models. Can they build and do they want to build open weight reasoning models that are open source? Or they really want to do this? Let's check this out. Now, first hugging face. Here we are, GPT OSS 120 billion. Here you have everything. Download zero. I'm a little bit early. It is really just happening now. And of course, we just wait a second. We already have it available here on Unslot just 16 minutes ago. We have the OSS 20 billion free trainable parameter GGUF. We have LM Studio Community, the 20B GGUF. So we have already here quantized models available. You have here a complete model card from OpenAI August 5th, 2025. You find here all beautiful data compared and done by OpenAI, presented by OpenAI, selected by OpenAI from the marketing department of OpenAI. And you know, we just ignore this. There are some beautiful AIM25 benchmark you see here. The last two models are here, the 120B and the 20B. And you see they're about, yeah, let's say it's a little bit better than O3 Mini but they are not as good as O4 Mini. So it's clearly where the position here in this open source model, but it is a free model. So that means you have to train it. You have to fine tune it. You have here reinforcement learning. You have every possibility. If you go with PhD science questions, you'll see, okay, 20B is not as good. So therefore we focus on the 120B. Great. Yeah, further components, if you want to see the active parameter, the total parameter, guess what? 120B has 116 and the 20B has 20.9. Who would have guessed? And we have the first feedback here from a 5090 about on the 20 billions, on the small one here in LM Studio in a reduced version, 160 tokens per second. This is nice. We will go here with 3000 tokens per second. We go here for the professional versions because we want really to see what is the performance of this system. And should you invest in fine tuning and optimizing? Should you build on this or are there better opportunities? Now, you know, I have my own test and here you see the best here. Gemini 2.5 Pro currently with eight step here is the best performer here of my particular causal reasoning test. Next one is OpenAI 03. Sonnet 4 with 11 steps, Mistral small even, a 24 billion managed a 10 step solution. So you see here exactly within the 10 step are the best models available. And we're going to perform on this now. Are they identical test? You have my videos, Grok 4 Life. You see here Gemini 2.5 Pro OC, Thinking from Sonnet. You have everything recorded. And now we are on the live test on the new model by OpenAI. Let's start. Hello, community. We are here in Cerebras, personal system message. No temperature. We go here with everything default and we look here at the new GPT open source, the 120 billion free trainable parameter. I just put in my standard test and I say run. I don't do anything else. And Cerebras is thinking it should be lightning fast. Thinking mode is active. Beautiful. So let's see, what is the solution? 1,000 tokens per second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not bad at all. Four seconds and we have a solution. The 15 press solution. Beautiful. So you see, this is here the riddle that we have. Okay. Floor 48, 50. So it did not find here the shortcut. We have here different code cards. Item to run, you press use 15, 
we have energy enough, we have the cold cards collected, we have no trap hits, all the flags are off. Green red triggered, okay. All go constraint, this is Pareto optimal, in no way 15 presses is rather a low performance. Lower bound than a number of presses, beautiful. Hard lower bound, no, certain is no hard lower bound. Yes, we begin, random drop, conclusion, 13 presses is the absolute theoretical minimum, and no way, this is absolute incorrect. And those are the sequence of presses, take the elevator from floor 0 to 15, 15 moves. Respecting every rule, maybe, but the solution is horrible. The fewest possible presses that meet all the constraints simultaneously. So a 15 press solution is really bad. And especially if this is the new GPT, the open source model here, with 120 billion free trainable parameter, I think this is, yeah, this is not really what we were looking for. Yeah? Okay, let's do a verification run, and then I think this is it. So let's just say verify your result. You are live with me. It is thinking lightning fast, I suppose. Sort for four seconds, 15 press optimal run, total presses. Okay. Okay, did not find what it is needed to find. 13 presses is the absolute minimum. We start with five. Suppose a 14 press solution existed and does do uh, a little thing. The presented solution is Pareto optimal. No other legal one can use fewer than 15 presses. So this is incorrect. Every goal and by the reasoning above is optimal. This is incorrect. So if I would use this GPT open system here, the 120 billion, no, definitely I'm not going to use this open source model here for anything that is connected with causal reasoning. Because as you see, even, I don't know, much smaller model are or have a better performance. So this is not for causal reasoning. So what are the results? What is the first impression here from the new GPT, the open system here, the 120 billion free trainable parameter? If we look here at the performance of the other one, I would say we have this GPT OSS 120B now with 14 or 15 step. But you see, is it really worth that you would invest now on this system? Or maybe you go here with other systems. Maybe you go with a QN system and you invest there. That you see, I have a continued pre-training or I invest now in supervised fine-tuning or massively in reinforcement learning. I understand it is if you want a base model that is open source, but for causal reasoning, and I would like to stress this, this was only a causal reasoning, a logic test. A simple goal, find the shortest path in an elevator from the floor zero to go to the floor 50. I define the function of particular buttons in this elevator. I have symmetry, anti-symmetry relation in this defined, so it is not an easy task in no way. If you go with very simple task, you have to test it out, you have to find your problem. But I provide here really for some hard test, and you see here, this is the result I have with my causal reasoning test. Before you decide to go with any model you are not familiar with it, do not trust here any resources here on the net. Go here to LM Arena. I find it here always helpful. Look, you can have it here side by side, GPT OSS 120B. You can compare it here live with the 20B. Remember, these are the full fledged version. Those are not 2 bit or 4 bit quantized and reduced even further. So just put in your task in your domain, in your complexity that you need, and have a look. Should you go with the 120B? Should you go with the 20B if they're open source? And then compare it maybe to some other open source models and have a look for your particular task on your domain, on your complexity, if is this is the best model for you. But for the open source 120B on causal reasoning task, I would be cautious, test it out in detail before you decide to go with this model. See you with the GPT-5 test.